Welcome back. Dating application is on the hype as people are seeking relationship through online. Moreover, the pandemic has shrunk offline chance to meet other singles, such popularity leads to flocking users. In the same time, the dating application developers gain underlying value of high revenue. COVID-19 has closed a lot of traditional meeting grounds for singles, but the online way has been open and go beyond. Match Group Incorporation, parent entity of famous dating application so-called as Tinder, expects at least 2.3 billion US dollar revenue for 2020. The optimism came as the company's second quarter profit of 103.1 million US dollar and the sales of 555.5 million US dollar. Even though Tinder is a free application, but it can pull users to be a paid user. Paid users have privilege to play the applications without ads and offer extra features such as unlimited extra likes, super likes, and monthly boosts to increase exposure. Revenue at Tinder rose in July for the third straight months despite increased COVID-19 case numbers and thanks to its paid users. From all sources, ITX Channel. Yeah, back in my younger years, I do remember that dating means a person with a person in real life get to know each other, and yes, the rest was in old school way. But now there's a large important cultural shift happening in terms of dating. People now can go on pre-dates where they um, explore virtual dating for the first time to get to know one another before meeting in a re uh, real life. Who would have thought before, right? As it turns to a hype nowadays, therefore, in the first graphic, I would like to tell you five most popular dating apps in the world. Let's check it out. The most popular dating apps worldwide. We have Tinder with the number of downloads um, from Google Play Store as much as 2.59 million downloads. Badoo, 1.79 million downloads. Um, Bumble, 0 0.58 million downloads. Happen, 0 0.56 million downloads, and uh, Meet Me, 0 0.55 million downloads. We compiled the data from Statista. And through the graphic, we can see that Tinder wins the dating app war. According to Facebook app login data tracked by Thingnum, Tinder usage is at the highest it's been. In fact, as of uh, this week, Tinder is the most used application via Facebook login beating out both Spotify and Candy Crush Saga for the first time. Tinder is used in 190 countries and is available in 40 languages because of the popularity, means, um, which means uh, large market. Tinder knows how to deal with it. Even though Tinder is a free application, but the company pulls in revenue from offering users premium subscriptions of Tinder Plus and Tinder Gold. The paid users will have benefit of uh, playing the app without ads and offer extra features such as unlimited likes, extra super likes, and monthly boost to boost their exposure. Because of this benefit, 5.9 million Tinder subscribers pay for a premium Tinder Plus and Tinder Gold. Therefore, let's see how much revenue Tinder made from the paid users. This is the data about Tinder revenue in 2015, 47 million US dollar. The number keeps on increasing. In 2018, it was on the level of 805 million US dollar. And um, in 2019, uh, 1,200 million US dollar. And the company revealed Tinder pulled of 1.2 billion US dollar in revenue. The company revealed Tinder pulled in 1.2 billion US dollar in revenue for 2019, a 43% increase from 2018. See such increasing trend, Match Group Incorporation, which is Tinder's parent entity, expects at least 2.3 billion in revenue for 2020. Moreover, pandemic makes uh, more and more people use Tinder revenue at Tinder Rose in July 2020 for the third straight month despite increased COVID-19 case numbers. 
thanks to its paid users. Overall, there are 70 uh, or 57 million Tinder users around the world. In Indonesia, there are 4.1 million Tinder users, according to data at the end of the, uh, the last year. The hike in activity has been growing dramatically since the start of the pandemic. Let's see how Indonesian Tinder users trend during pandemic in the next graphic. This is trend of Indonesian Tinder users during pandemic. The chats as much as 61%, swipe right 29%, and matched couple, uh, couple 28%. And see the increasing trend, Tinder is getting serious to expand business in Indonesia. It's discovered that the company opened job vacancies for local business people. It said Tinder is in Indonesia as part of the global expansion. Indonesia's situation is currently becoming a momentum. Demographic bonus brings Indonesia's digital market segment and smartphone usage are dominated by millennials, supported by the rapid penetration of internet and smartphone usage. Digital services are becoming a lifestyle which is inseparable from daily activity. However, competition for similar services in Indonesia is quite crowded. Aside from Tinder, there are also other online dating apps which is Indonesian made. Let's see what are those in the next graphic. This is the most popular Indonesian local dating app. We have Ayonika, Bunga Jodoh, Setipe.com, Pacar, and Ta'aruf ID. And some people, especially Indonesians, tend to see online dating as a bit dangerous and el elusive. Um, however, the uh, proliferation of dating apps says otherwise, or rather suggests that many Indonesians indeed involve themselves in online dating. One thing to be underlined, whether you want to get a lasting company or just a fun uh, time with someone for a while, still be careful on every decision you make. Back again to Tinder. We can see that Tinder is one of the successful dating application that is able to gain tons of revenue through cultural shift happening in terms of dating. If Tinder can make it, so does Indonesian local dating app. Hope that Tinder's success story can inspire our local dating app to gain tons of revenue as well. And stay with our market lines because we'll be right back after the break.